back in town. It's top 10 kills of the week. It's episode 34, Sniper Spectacular. I hope you didn't forget about us because we didn't forget about you. Jumping straight into the honorable mentions, we got Warrior95 in Let Your Team Go AFK. Slayer Snipers on Coliseum. Looking at it, this guy's trying to protect his AFK homeboy. What a big mistake gets clipped for the Sniper Tanius. Next honorable mention, we have Red Death Star 7 in Monkey C, Monkey Do. And yeah, that was me. I was basically just suggesting to him, I was like, yo, try this. A 360 no scoper. He's like, all right, I'm going to try it and I'm going to hit it my first try. There it is again, but what can you say? The best snipers around. Brotherhood is legend. Repping the honorables next, we have Deceptive Mind. Grabs a double kill for the killing spree. He's gonna cap off a third one. The fourth one's gonna be jumping at him with a needler. He gets destroyed and he's looking for the sword guy. He finds him as well. High intensity action, I'm telling you guys. That brings us to this week's Did You Know? informatively and instructively teaching you about Halo. Believe it or not, naysayers, infection makes you Halo aware. It makes you better at Halo. It teaches you things about Halo and how to put your skills together to play Slayer and other different playlists that require high awareness and high reaction time. The infection playlist boasts the highest population player count per playlist outranking the arena playlists and also the warzone playlists making it optimal for you to play at almost any time of the day or night being able to find matches instantaneously making everything flow so much better making the multi kills flow so much better making you watch your radar conserve your ammo land those headshots and be able to have fun with your friends yeah, of course it's a social playlist, but it does also make you aware, making you make sure that reticule is right on target. If you are a higher skilled tiered player, you will come out on top, trust me, but you gotta be paying attention, because the shotgun that you start with as a human has almost the exact same range as a sword that you start with as an infected. Yes, this is something that you need to pay attention to and understand. Being able to put all of this together, conserving your ammo, watching your radar, getting your headshot accuracy down, getting to know your shotgun very, very well. Of course, this will shape you to be a great and amazing Halo player overall. This will help you to approach the campaign and any Slayer type of situation where you guys are based with shields. You gotta respect what the playlist has to offer. These days, a lot of pros do not go into infection because it feels they drops their playstyle, drops their skill level, when in fact, every single playlist teaches you something different and unique about Halo and how to harness and master your skills. We will be featuring other playlists and how they could benefit you in the coming weeks on Did You Know. But let's start this top 10 off right, ladies and gentlemen, with a nice crispy tea bag. Just grab the ground and just destroy it with your nuts. Alrighty then. Picking off our top 10 this week, guys, we have Dead Presidents in Hammer Time Corners. Picking up the hammer right there. He's gonna see one right around the corner. Drops him. He's not done yet. Of course he knows how to look at his radar, ladies and gentlemen. It's all strategy. Halo is chess, not checkers. You gotta know how to roll into a situation, and you gotta know how to come on top. Comes out on top with the triple. He's not done yet. He's gonna go ahead and cap off number four for a killing spree, baby. Bringing us to our number nine spot, we have Mournful Eagle 2 in Rabbit Out the Hat. Rocking the beam rifle, playing Super Fiesta, lands a headshot right there. Gets a snapshot after the third try, but he's going to keep it out. And guess what? He's going to find another one and casually just pop him in the face for the hat trick. Hat Grab trick. it out the hat. What an amazing trick. We got number eight coming in. This is Darkest Kells. This is called Setup for Success. He's going to be rocking the sniper rifle because it's the sniper spectacular. He lands one. This is champion gameplay. Finishes him off with a pistol. 
But he's not done yet. He's gonna surf across. He's gonna get the melee. He still has it. Gets the falling headshot on the suspecting guy. You're damn right, he's gonna set his team up for success. Rounding out the number 7 spot, we have its mask. This is called Halo 1 Gun. Of course he's rocking the CE pistol, ladies and gentlemen. And we like AFKs, we will take those all day. Does a 180, finds the triple kill, and strafes for the overkill. That guy will be having a seat. Capping off the number 7 spot. But number 6 is represented by Snam Family in Flash Overkill, baby. Playing some Riptide, he is infected, but he knows how to jump over crates. You guys gotta pay attention. And he's gonna get the overkill right there for the quickest overkill I've ever seen. Coming in at the number 5 spot, we got Brutal Legend 115 in Don't Chase, bro. Just don't chase, man. He's got the shotgun out, he's rocking on Nerve Center. Playing some infection. He's gonna show you guys he's accurate with it. Technically, he should have died right there, but he's still alive. He's jumping around. Caps off the kill tack. He realizes he won't get a pistol shot right there, so he backs up a little bit. Does a 180. Still going strong. Hits a guy with a shotgun shell. Busts out the pistol for a quick second and gets flanked out, but that's alright. Coming in at the number four spot. We got Blind Girl. This is Boarding Pass Tickets. Same game type, Blind Girl's repping it with the shotgun. Playing on Boarding Pass. She does also have the Halo CE pistol out, but she's very handy with the melees and the shotgun shots. Lands a couple of headshots right there. Still going strong with the high intensity action. That guy doesn't even know what the hell's happening right now. She's at a Zombie Slayer, which is 10 in a row without dying. This guy's like, can I do it? No, you cannot, because you're going to get Brawler to straight out of the sky. Also at the triple kill, we'll land an overkill right before she gets ended out, bringing us to our knockout of the week. You should try it sometime. Alrighty then. Out of the week award goes to Outrek this time in Capture the Flag Short Sniping. He's got the sniper rifle out, he's got an extermination, everybody's getting snapshotted, everybody's getting destroyed, the pistol work is on point, everybody just can't even stay alive for longer than a second because they're just getting eradicated. A nasty snapshot right there, and he caps off the Killionaire, baby. Good job, Trek. Let's go, taking us to our Halo 5 Infection High Score of the Week. Infection high score of the week this week goes to Cobra Attacks 53, getting 52 kills, nabbing a Killionaire and the Cure. That's 30 without dying. Good job, bro. That's what we like to see, but if you guys are not subscribed, scroll down right now, hit the subscribe button, let people know about us, and we'll check you in the next video. Peace!